Mix. Okay, hold on a moment. I see a Chaco hooligan in the chat. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Hi, everybody. How you doing, everybody? All right, what's uh, happening in here? Uh, when she goes live, if she's alive, hello? Um, why is this stuck here? Get out of here. Stop that. Um... Hi, Z Highness. How you doing? Toast is good. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. I'll have to return once I have two devices. Yes, as you should be. As you should be. What's going on over on YouTube? We have Voice of the People in the chat, Sadie T, Kid Gravity Beyond, Grace Robbins, Attila. Pretty sure I'm butchering that. I'm sorry if I always mess up people's names. Comrade Sammy, nice to see you. Evening. Girl, it's like noon. What are you talking about? <laughs> I can crack in. This looks kind of ominous, just a void of a background. Yeah, you know, I was browsing for backgrounds and I said, well, I'm just going to leave it black. Just leave it black. Why not? Because black is beautiful. As the as the younglings say these days, black is beautiful. Mm. Uh, <laughs> music lover. Hello. How are you? Hello. 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 And we have, is it Alex Unqualified? Hello, how you doing? How you doing, everyone? Okay, let me get set up over here. So um, I'm just going to play some Dead by Daylight today. I'm be totally honest with you. I have nothing, no games that are on my radar until Atomic Heart comes out. And I think there's another one. Uh, I was hoping to nab a code for uh, Forspoken um, just to see how it is. And I've seen a lot of mixed commentary on that game. Um, and I think the controversy surrounding it, it has, has really prompted me to want to essentially go full circle back into, in addition to the political stuff, making commentary for the gaming industry. Uh, not like gaming news and anything like that. Like, I have no desire to be one of those, like, press guys here's a press release i report now i don't want to do that i want to talk about the junk <laughs> in gaming culture the junk i want to just cut it like fat and um this forespoken game that came out man i the the idiocy i i never quite realized how bad it is in gaming um yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't I don't know. It's it's very bizarre. Oh yeah, I I am going to do Hogwarts. Yes, that's right. That was the other game I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do Hogwarts. Um preferably I don't want to pay for it. I'm trying to get some codes, but I don't I don't think I'm going to get any. <laughs> Sapper Bandit, how are you? It's great to see you here. My friend Retrolag told me about you. We'll tell Retrolag I said hello. Hope he is well. Um huh. 
but yeah, so that's um that's what's been on my mind. It's just it's just crazy. So I want to ask you guys before I get into some games here because I have some delicious coffee. I bought um a pack of uh the Quarterings coffee, coffee brand coffee. It's pretty good, but I think I need a I think I need to bring out like my drip coffee thing because putting this in Keurig, I feel like it's a little bit diluted for me. So. It's pretty good, though. So, yeah, here's the question of the day. I'm going to do this every time on sh I stream on Twitch. So I want to get some dialogue going. Do you guys think representation is important to you in games? Is it important? As a white cis male, uh, do you feel like you are underrepresented <laughs> in gaming? And as a black, I don't know handicapped lesbian do you feel like representation is important in gaming yes or no <laughs> not for the sake of representation ah i feel like that's the majority of of representation is just let's just put it in just because it's what the people want not at the cost of, not at the cost what is wrong with me not at the cost of quality no no, I don't care if they're gay, etc. I just want fun games, story, show, etc. Mm. I see. Overall, no. If it's a fantasy medium, I can be what I want. You know what's really it's it it's it's I'm so confused. Why am I so low here? Hold on a second. Let me move this up. My body is just so low. Oh, it's because I'm as I guess do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on a second. I want to fix this. Bringing out the green screen now. I'm... Oh, oh, here we go. Is that as far as it goes? too low what if i wasn't wearing pants <laughs> all right i am wearing pants in case you're wondering okay so this is what has me so um no don't do that go back i have to stop put okay so this this thing is going to be kind of tricky all right let's don't do that let me turn off these hand gestures. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. Turn that off. Okay, cool. All right. I think I'm good now. Oh. There we go. Okay. Arcane Rocky says, ah, the good old uh, representation topic. I remember I used to care a lot. I'd also make any created character dark just because of how much I cared. I still do. I just care more about the games being good now. Uh, Six says, Gothics, your eye makeup is always on point. Oh, thank you. You rock, big fan. I appreciate that. Um, Kay says, for me, I want story. If it doesn't further the story, keep it out. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh, and then Hecken says, the point of game shows and movies is to escape reality. Why do we need to shove that victimization in those two? It's one thing if it's just there and available, but that's not what it is these days. Mm, yeah, so... And Voice of the People says, I don't care about representation in games as long as it's not overtly obvious. Yeah, so... This may have come as a surprise to some of you. I'm going to enlarge this. This may be a surprise... I don't give a crap about representation. I, d it does not, don't care. Not at all. And the, the bizarre thing to me is I grew up in a time where I started with Nintendo. Okay, original Nintendo. There was no, <laughs> I guess, representation because everything is bit characters. You can't even see the texture on these characters let alone know what their ethnicity is or their sexuality is. And we were fine with it. I remember the first, um, the, the first uh, original Sims that came out. You got like four, maybe five characters. 
you know, a, a variety of skin tones as far as like white, yellow, black, super black. And that was it. It, it, it. And we were fine with it. Well, at least I was fine with it. I don't know about other people, but for me, I was fine with it. So it, it's always crazy to me when I see people just scream about representation and then when something comes out like for example this forspoken game which has i guess some black chick as the lead character people still aren't satisfied now the game apparently this is what i've heard all right word on the street this is what i've heard that forspoken has massage noir in the game do you know what massage noir is hmm do you know? Do you know what it is? I'm going to tell you. Massage noir is misogyny towards black women because apparently if you add the extra characteristic, it, me it makes it even more traumatic. <laughs> so, it, it, and the thing is, is it, this goes to show you that you people like that will never be happy in terms of representation. What they're looking for is, I guess, a carbon copy of themselves and for that you might as well go out and make your own damn game like i don't understand all the fuss screaming at game developers why don't you represent us in game get off your black ass and go do it yourself <laughs> go make a game yourself instead of complaining about it i hate it <laughs> oh man all right let's see what we got in the chat prax Pra Pralix says, never heard of that word. Yeah, I've I've learned so many things. Uh, what do we got over here? The real Saint Michael. There's a difference between representation and preaching. Walking Dead had a widely diverse cast, but it was seamless. The show didn't even stop five minutes and preach to you about how black or Asian or gay <laughs> this character was. Oh man, it's easier than ever now with things like unreal and unity uh let's see wasabi cheetah says representation as it's defined these days would not even fly in my radar this is due to me growing up with static shock teen titans blade and nowhere in the world were people mil were people talking about representation so i must be biased alongside millions of others but that's just me Tough love, Bunny. How you doing? I stopped watching Walking Dead. Yeah, I fell off. I have no idea what's going on in that show anymore. Uh, Clyde says, what bothers me is that most is when what is presented makes no sense in the world of the game. Right. Like when they make, uh, when they turn the Little Mermaid black. We know black people can't swim. What the hell are you making them black for? <laughs> uh arcane rocky says like come on when we're growing up you had to legit learn things like c plus plus or some other complicated shit yeah it's um i don't i just it, it 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 poses the question if you're so upset about something then do something about it like if i have a business I should be allowed to deny business to someone for whatever reason. It's my business. I made it. All right. Don't even get me started on taxes. All right. <laughs> but if it's my business, I should be allowed to determine what I want to do with that particular product. So when and this is, again, part of what's motivating my rant here is I see a lot of content creators, a lot of them, which I used to know who apparently just cuckoo, there's something going on there. I don't know if it was. The five minutes of shame post George Floyd or or was it the whole amplify black voices that got to their head? I'm not quite sure. But a lot of these people, it's like. I just lost my thought because it's so crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. I don't know. I, oh man, I don't even know where I was going with that. I had a point to that. And, and it's it's it boggles my mind. It boggles my mind. Gothics, your fast is over, correct? Yes, I am happy to eat again. Although I have been consuming a lot of vegetables still because I like vegetables. Um, Heck and Gracken says, the point of shows, movies, etc. is to escape reality. Why do we need to shove that victimization in those two? It's one thing if it's there, just available, but that's not what it is these days. Mm. But yeah, <sighs> basically it's irrelevant. It's It's irrelevant. It is very much irrelevant. And what bothers me is, I guess, uh, I mean, aside from what I just said, is 
these companies, I don't know if they legitimately think that their core consumer base are these people that want representation, but I don't think that's the case at all. I think the majority of consumers are people that just want good games. They don't care about political messaging. They don't care if you're non-binary, whatever the hell that is. They don't care about amplifying black voices. Like I don't, we don't, I do not care. And they're, and in my opinion, they are, it's sort of self-defeating to be putting that into your games and then on top of that be working with creators that are just pushing that nonsense. Um, this is, you know, I've always loved games and it's so sad to see how this has devolved. Uh, Tough Love Bunny says, that's why we create our entertainment now and we decide who are our celebrities. Yeah, and I don't think they like that. I don't think they like that. I, th I think they, um, and, and I think this is also why YouTube, as well as other streaming companies have said like, you know what, we're going to monitor what you do on other platforms. We're going to censor you. We're going to, uh, we're going to, um, shadow ban you because they, they don't want, I guess, people like us to have big platforms. Let's see. David, this is why I made Drag the Dead. So David, I have not gotten back to you yet. I have tried playing the game. I didn't get very far. I tried it three times and then I said, all right, you know what? I'm going to try it again on a different day. Um, but I like what I see so far. I like what I see. The voice, the voice is kind of annoying me though. Because <laughs> it sounds like, you know, an angry homosexual <laughs> in the game. And I don't know if that was the intent. Uh, but yeah, I've been, I've been playing it. Mentors, what's going on? Just realize you're dual streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Yes, guys, if you are watching me on Twitch, please do me a solid and follow my second YouTube channel. It's pinned up at the top of the chat. I'm going to start putting out gaming industry commentary, not news, not news, but the same nonsense I talk about on my main channel. I'm going to talk about as it relates to games and, and all that jargon. Uh, what's going on, Jerry? How are you? Hex Allen, how you doing? Voice of the People says, if it makes sense to have a black character, then yes. Same for Mexican or any other race. Anyone can be the hero or the villain in the game. It's a fantasy world. Mm. Mm. Jerry, sending you and Saul some cool cigars to add to your collection. Oh, Jerry, thank you. I feel so bad we haven't got together yet. A lot of things have come up that we're dealing with over here. Uh, but we were actually talking about wanting to go to the cigar place and because um, we haven't gone in a while. And and then you remind me that I have to check my humidor because I'm very new to this. And the temperature dropped like 20 degrees in my humidor. And I'm not sure if that's just because it's cold out. Uh, I have a new thingy in in there those those little pack i have a new one so i'm like i don't know what's going on need to go fishing yes but not now it's cold it's cold man r.a morley says if representation in games is important why not make original games and characters skin swapping seems super insulting like we're too lazy to make a game character that fits so here's a cheat correct correct let me tell you a quick story all right so I've said this on a few other uh, streams that I'm and I'm almost done with the book, but I've been reading uh, Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington. And he if every blacktivist read that book, there would be no crying about discrimination, microaggressions and all that stuff. Like, this guy was born into slavery. He was born into poverty and he worked his way up the chain with merit and hard work and his faith. And he is an inspiration. All right. So but there was one story in particular that he told about how he was riding the train one time. And back then the train, they had white section and black section. And there was this guy in the black section, but visibly he looked white. Like you could not tell he was black because of how light he was. So the train conductor is going up and down the train, checking everyone's ticket. ticket and then he gets to this white guy in the black section. And he's trying to figure out 
why is this white guy here? But he has these characteristics where he's like, is this a black guy? Is this a white guy? I'm not too sure. So he starts examining him up and down. And then eventually he, he looks at the guy's feet. And then he determines, OK, so this guy must be a Negro. You can stay here, sir. <laughs> so that goes to show you representation is a farce. If we want to talk about social constructs, this idea of race is socially constructed because how do you determine that someone is black, especially in instances like that? Like, are we what are we doing exactly to, to figure that out? Like, it's all made up. You know, so this is why I say I don't give a crap about representation, because if, if you're going to represent anything, represent my mind. What do I think? What are my beliefs? You know, that's all I care about. I don't give a crap about. Us black women need shut up. <laughs> shut up. I hate it. <laughs> mentor says up from slavery booker t washington may need to check this out it's so good it's so good and and you can tell by reading it that it was a slow process but the race relations between blacks and white were improving every every year year after year and there was one point in the book and he was just like um he was like a few years ago white people wouldn't have allowed me to speak at these events yet here they are inviting me by the hundreds to come speak at these events and i pity anyone who was bold enough to say that race relations haven't improved and this was back in like the 1800s so hello <laughs> what happened i mean i have some ideas uh, Wasabi Cheetah says, as starting a game dev, representation is a cheap as a cup as a couple uh how do you say that? Vertes and textures. If people want to make themselves that cheap, they'll drive their sense of self-importance into a psychological grave. I, I agree with you. Yo, and cap, what's good? Representation for the sake of representation is terrible. Like in comics, make original characters that happen to be x y z yeah yeah that's how i say it they happen to be black or they happen to be whatever you know like it shouldn't be shoehorned in like hey look at me i am black like oh it hurts my head all right so that was my rant i had to get some things off my chest um so i'm going to open up a game hey gothics here's an idea maybe you should post your reading list on locals i can I can't. It was on my website, but I'm redoing it right now because I, I broke it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll post my reading list. Someone mentioned uh, this past Saturday, we had a, a voice chat in locals and someone mentioned doing a, a book club. Um, but I don't know how many people would actually read books. I don't know. Do you guys read? <laughs> uh Six says, I have an idea for game devs. No more visual, just a black screen and dialogue. They can create whatever color, creed, culture, dialect they want. Oh, wait, we have this. It's called Audible. <gasps> ah, Audible. Greg says, as a deeply flawed and broken human being, I am completely being represented. So no complaints here. No complaints, man. Ah, uh, let's see. Mm. I listen to audiobooks. Same. I didn't recognize you without the glasses. Oh, it is me. It is I, Ghetto Mindset. It is I. Nice username. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see. But yeah, guys, I have a... I don't know what it was, but these past few days... I've maybe the past two weeks, I think I really think that my. As I said before, I don't think I was meant to do solely political commentary. I think I, I feel like I'm going full circle and putting gaming back into my arsenal. Um, and realistically, like it, 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 it makes sense because gaming is one of those mediums where it's, it's dominated by one line of thinking and, uh, and most people my age 
are on games and then you have to also add into that a lot of young kids younger kids are on games so it's like if if i'm not a part of the conversation or people like me aren't a part of the conversation as opposed to gaming it's like you're you're cutting out a big chunk of if you want to call it the culture war i call it a spiritual war to be honest with you um but i mean it's it's almost like uh you know when aoc was running and her and her i don't even know what the other chick's name was they were on twitch playing um among us and i'm like y'all don't play video games you know exactly what you're doing they were trying to cater to the the gamer base you know and these last couple of days someone's been sending me screenshots of this because these people have me blocked but to see old creators that i used to know be so nasty towards anyone that doesn't fit into their ideological bubble is is gross it's so gross so yeah and plus i love gaming but it, you know i think i needed time to marinate and just do political because if i had gone straight from doing twitch to doing political with with no opportunity to um grow emotional resilience because i didn't have any <laughs> me straight up with you i was not emotionally resilient but if i had done that and just said oh yeah this is just talk about this stuff without preparing myself i probably wouldn't last very long so now i feel more emboldened to say the things that i want and not feel like i need to cave into angry hot tub streamers <laughs> uh jerry says you're good at all god gaming and political very good speaker i appreciate that uh jerry um yo black what's going on clyde says with my first comment i was thinking about last of us and the last of us 2 perfect example of a property being totally taken over and ruined by too much focus on socio uh political extremism i haven't even played last of us 2 my husband has it um and i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna play it but i I'll have to play for my living room because it's on PS4. Uh, but he told me about like the trans representation and how Ellie is gay or whatever. I started watching the show. It's really good. Like It is actually really good. The Last of Us. And um, I hope they don't ruin it by putting unwanted messaging like there's one part in it not to spoil anything because in the game she was gay but in the show um uh ellie is asked do you if you have family do you have a boyfriend that's coming after you and she's like no and i'm like yeah i know you're, you're gay i get it but i just i will cringe if i see a gay love scene or any type of love scene for that matter because i you know i'm the type of person that i'm thinking of a zombie apocalypse the last thing i care about is if someone got it in with another person like why do i care about this <laughs> rock indy says as a christian how do you deal with the anger that you feel when seeing stories about the left doing terrible things like sexualizing children, I hate it. It makes me angry. Um, and this is part of the reason why I, I feel also called to put my foot back into gaming as well, because there were, there were some days where it just weighs very heavy on me. And I'm like, I don't want to talk about kids being sexualized all the time, because I think the majority of people no now it's a matter of what do we do about it so it makes me angry it makes me very angry um yeah sapper bandit says i mean from what i can tell what <laughs> political hot tub stream <laughs> so like tim cast but in a jacuzzi <laughs> no 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 <laughs> i mean i would not pay to see that um let's see did i get your switch from leon yet i don't know leon says he sent me a switch i haven't seen it in my p.o box god thinks we must know if sex happens during the end of the world it, okay before i pop over away i'm still updating dbd that's what i'm gonna play today guys if you thought i was gonna play a new game you are sadly mistaken <laughs> um the the end of the world 
Okay, let's just say in an end of the world situation, hooking up with someone is the last thing that you would want to do. The last thing, because number one, it makes you more emotional. Number two, if you get knocked up, now you have a baby that's screaming that can draw attention to you. Number three, you know there's going to be no condoms in the end of the world situation. You know it. So it's dirty. Don't do that. All right. <laughs> White Wolf says Hogwarts Legacy is going to release less than a month. I'm excited. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. <clears throat> That's what annoyed me about A Quiet Place. I, I hate, I just, I just, I don't, I don't get it. It's not logical. It's just not logical, man. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Clyde says, depend on whether you want the human species to survive realistically better than doing it all the time. <laughs> Ideally at Tommy's place, not out of the wild. Graham says, wrong, fake news. You're wrong. You're wrong. All right. You're wrong. You don't do the hanky panky during an apocalypse. Okay. All right. Maybe after you build your underground hut. And you have things established, maybe. But not when things going down. It's, you can't do that. Rock and Diesel says, that's what I don't get about The Walking Dead and how any baby survived. Zombie magnet. Yeah. Mentor says, just to be fair, it is stress releasing, yet probably not the best decision in an apocalypse. No, not at all. It's all fun and games until aliens get involved. What? <laughs> Bump's got a bump. No. <laughs> Just notice the leftist tears mug. That's great. It's so this is the best Tumblr. This is from the Daily Wire. And no, I, I sort of stopped caring about the Daily Wire controversy. I just hate people fighting with each other that seem to be uh, pointing at the same goal. It's like, stop it. Just stop. You ever just want to backhand someone? That's how I feel. Stop it. Whoops. Relax. Bad. Don't do that. Ah, so good coffee. All right. Oh, this is taking a little bit. 13 gigs? What patch? All right, well, I guess I'm just going to talk to you guys for a little bit longer. I have the same one. It's a great Tumblr. It's a really great one, Sammy. Mentor says, yeah, I just want to shake them and give them a timeout. It doesn't make any sense to me. Screw the Daily Wire. There are sellouts to Big Con. Yeah, see, I don't, I'm so out of the loop. I'm out of the loop. Um, yeah, so I really can't comment all too much on it. <clears throat> the better alternative is uninstalling. No, no, we won't be doing that. Now, now. Yeah. Say what you want about Daily Wire, though. Like, I think that they do serve a purpose. You know, it's it, the unfortunate thing is, is that a lot of people worship money. So I think you're going to find that really anywhere. Uh... But like their documentaries or the what is a woman, I think, is, is brilliant. Um, so I think they serve a purpose. I think everyone who has a platform can serve a purpose if they actually know what they're doing. Um, and Cap says, I love playing high on life. Rick and Morty humor. I was looking at that. I heard that the... The character, that's the one with the gun that's talking, right? It's like the character wouldn't shut up. Mm. Yeah, that's what I heard. 
Serene September says they're adding more Resident Evil content to DVD, including William Birkin. Oh, is that out yet? Oh, that's coming out. That's cool. Mentor says, yeah, not good to share our dirty laundry and keep it between us and we can settle these things between ourselves respectfully. Hmm. Talking guns, you can adjust the dialogue and settings. Ah, I see. So the guns only talk at key story points. Okay. Hmm. Sapper Bandit asks, does having a platform get exhausting at some point? Isn't it refreshing to just want to be a normal ass person? <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. How you doing? Thank you. Can you lower the heat? Is it hot for you? Yeah, I also got this beaming light on me. I mean, if it's too cold, don't do it. I'll adjust. All right. Is that on 60? If it's on 60, don't lower it. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Put it on put it on 60. Um the question was, does having a platform get exhausting at some point? Isn't it refreshing to just want to be a normal ass person? Um I wouldn't say it's exhausting. Uh for me, especially like my YouTube channel, like the main one that's grown so big. Uh, it's not exhausting. It's like sometimes I feel slightly, I have, I have bursts of, of feeling overwhelmed because I think that, especially when you're giving commentary on politics and culture and, and what, whatever, I think there's a sense of you you have this moral obligation to continue doing it and you're not entitled to take a break, try other things, you know? So I think maybe in that sense, like it's like everyone, whenever I stream on that channel, hey, did you hear about this news thing? Did you see this thing? And I'm like, nope, I didn't because I'm purposely not looking at the news because I don't want to. And, uh... Yeah. And that and then the other part of it is sometimes I guess again slight slight bursts of feeling overwhelmed knowing that the my audience has changed so much. Like I went from predominantly gamer and liberal audience to uh politically homeless political audience. To now I'm going to, I'm adding some Christian audience, politically homeless audience, and then all of these audiences here are like, a lot of people expect too much of me, I think, is what I'm trying to gain at. Like, for example, I'll have the Christian audience, they'll say, hey, why are you wearing a nose ring? Why are you swearing? And I'm like, I'm just trying to live my life, man. And then I have <laughs> the uh, the left audience, because I do have some leftists that watch and they'll be like, you're alienating us by talking about God. <laughs> and and so it, it's it's a back and forth. And sometimes I'm like, I just want to live, man. It's 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 like a tug and pull. <clears throat> So yeah, sometimes I just want to play games and I, and I will eventually when this thing stops upda updating. <laughs> oh man. Heckin' Kraken asks, do you think it's because you would hyper-focus at times? Probably, yeah. It's still something I'm, I'm working on, you know? Because I, th I think like I have improved a lot from like psychologically the last year and a half, I would say, because once I started doing the, the YouTube stuff, I was like, yo, we're all going to die. <laughs> I was like, yo, I gotta, I gotta wake people up. It's my job and my job alone. I gotta get people to realize that 
shit's going down. And that would drain me out. And and I had to keep remembering that, hey, it's not my job now. It's like, okay, now that I believe in God, I can just say, okay, I give it all to God. What, what's going to happen is going to happen. It's out of my control. I can't do it. I can use my platform in the meantime, but I can't do it. Right. So it's like I have to keep reminding myself, hey, it's OK to take a break. It's OK to try other things. You're not be uh, beholden to this particular uh, type of content. You don't have to talk about that if you don't want to. Um. Yeah. Grace Robin says, is it hard to separate work and personal life being an online personality? Um, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. I, I, I will definitely admit that sometimes, and this is why I try not to be on social media. I don't have any social media apps on my phone anymore, but it's a back and forth because sometimes I'll reinstall it and then uninstall it. And I'm like, no, I need to stop doing that. Um, Sometimes I forget the boundaries that I have. So if I'm not making content that day, I'll still somehow be making content by being on social media or, or trying to figure out how to write a new script for a video. And it's like, hold on a second. Can I just go to the movies with my husband and relax? <laughs> like, why do I need to always be on? So I think in, in that sense, yes, I sometimes have trouble keeping the separation uh, the work-life balance. Um, Serene September says, they expect you to be in some cookie cutter, I guess. I think so. Sometimes. Mentor says, I just love you being genuine and authentic. Just being yourself. Uh, just being, yeah, yourself, girly. Keep being you and enjoy the journey. Been with you since day one to infinity and beyond. Oh, dear. <laughs> Six says, you, what is best part of all the growing learning and evolving process staying true to yourself beliefs while maintaining emotional hygiene keep it up you're doing great i appreciate that six you know what oh, okay cool i was like well, i feel like i'm reading this wrong <laughs> yeah yeah it is a, it is definitely a process um even content creation i have changed a lot of my perspectives on content like before i was like yeah go ahead take the plunge be a content creator and now i'm like let's think about this for a second but let's think about it because if we look at the landscape of content creators especially on twitch you will see a lot of people that have not built emotional resilience and now i look at it and i'm like wow i I went into this without having that. I'm surprised I even lasted as long as I did before shit hit the fan. Um, but you see you see how it has evolved to creators complaining that someone is mean to them in the chat or someone left a nasty comment to them. Yeah, duh. <laughs> duh. <laughs> you you got to you got to work on that. You got to Really consider that before you try to give your all and put yourself in front of an audience that could potentially reach millions of people. What do you expect? Did you see the four spoken reviews, Gothics? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was ranting about that earlier in the stream. And I think I will want to make a video about uh, not necessarily the game itself, because I don't have the game, but just the commentary re revolving it revolving around it um some some nonsense <clears throat> heck and Gracken says haven't had any of those social medias on my phone since may of last year that's good good for you good for you Alex and Qualified says, thank you for helping me through my recovery from surgery. Your videos are something I look forward to every day. Aw, you're so awesome. Thank you. You're so, that's so nice of you. Okay, so. I lied. I don't want to play DBD right now. I want to play because I stopped playing this. Uh, I want to play, uh, where is it? Oh, you got an update too? How long is this? I was going to play Metal Hellsinger. Because I didn't get very far in it. I suck at the game.
Okay, it's done. All right, I'm going to play a little bit of Metal Hellsinger. So this is going to be a lot of rock music and demonic imagery in case you need a trigger warning. Uh, and I have a very focused game, a game face. Um, so if I don't look at the chat frequently, it's because I'm trying to get to the next stage. So I'm going to play some of that. <clears throat> I can't imagine how hard it is to talk while playing. Yeah, and that's kind of why I keep going back to Dead by Daylight because I can literally do both at once. Like, I can look at the screen, at the chat, while I'm playing it. This game, not so much. <laughs> not so much. All right, let's open this up. <clears throat> I apologize if it's loud. <clears throat> ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Where did it go? Oh no, wrong window. Wrong window. Boy? This game is opening up in the wrong window. I need you to not do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want it there. How do I move this? Oh, there we go. I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay, cool. Now let me go to my game. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And... Metal. Very good. Huh. <laughs> Heck with the new stuff, play my childhood favorite. Let me lower this a little bit. <clears throat> Atari. You know, I've never played Atari. Okay. Let me just put the music down. All right. Um, okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I'll just turn it up for me. Hi, podcast. How you doing? I had the soundtrack to this game while playing while I work out. It's a good soundtrack. <clears throat> okay. I have a really... So this is my gaming keyboard, by the way. It's not a gaming keyboard. This is going to be very difficult. <laughs> Yo, Deathfang, how you doing? Oh, check to see if your V-Sync is on. What does that do? Should I have it on? I don't even know what V-Sync does. I enjoyed being here. Time to work out. Have a good one. Have a good one as well. I worked out today. I end the day with some VR workout. And, it, and then my VR headset gets sweaty. <laughs> um, okay. What games do you look forward to this year, Goth? My most anticipated games is Star Wars, Jedi, Survivor, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom... Uh, Pikmin 4 and DLC and stuff. I'm looking forward to Atomic Heart. That's really the only thing on my radar aside from that. Yeah, I'll play uh, the new Harry Potter game, but I really want to see Atomic Heart. For streaming, don't. Your gameplay will be very laggy. Okay, let's do that. And set your FPS cap to 60. Oh, yeah? Look at you giving me tips. Okay. Let's do 60. All right. That works for me. Thank you. I worked out today. Uh, today's rest day. Sunday is usually my rest day. All right. So, Codex. I didn't quite. All right. So, um. I don't like to read, so I don't know why I'm even looking at this. All right, enter health. <sighs> Have I not done this? Wait, what does this mean? I've done this, right? I'll have to do this now. Is that what that means? I've done this. Is this a new one? I don't get it. This is confusing me. Oh, 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 okay. 
So, so this is one I haven't done. Okay. You've done it. Okay. All right, cool. So I haven't done this one. Let's go. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't played this in a few months. So I'm like, how do you do this again? Okay. Primary. And this one. The hell are you playing? I actually got to change my category on Twitch so the Twitch police don't come here. L singer. Okay, here we go. Thank you for asking me that, Leon. Um Move this over here. Doot. Doot. Okay. Here's the Twitch cops knocking. Run. All right. Always equip. That's let's do wait. Fire rate. Let's do that. And um Okay. I'm probably gonna fail. So the hills took another hit from us. Bloodied their nose as we did, but Judge Damn, look at me. I'm see-through. Seriously, yeah. Which I guess is fair enough. I'm see-through. That's annoying me. Let me fix that. <laughs> I'm see-through. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm see-through. What about this? That's better. There we go. <laughs> you are the ruler of the infernal and unaccustomed to taking the big L. Nah, she was playing Papa idiot. Sarge says, I don't think skin color representation is important in video games. That defeats the purpose of escape from reality aspect of games that we enjoy. Now, Papa Sarge, would you say the same thing about movies? Now, the ritual of spirit because some people see movies as an escape. In perpetuity. By GPU is NVIDIA, yes. Yes. At least that's what they was hoping for. I have a 1080 Ti. Is that my GPU? I'm really bad yep. with. <laughs> Let me tell you, that Specs. was not the finale Hell was hoping for. Um. And after that, Samantha says, "Thanks for being a voice of reason no among the crazy." Hey, I appreciate that, we Samantha. Thank you so much. Full attention. Woo! 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 Now, nah, hold on a second. Cam. Sorry, guys. I'm nitpicky. What about this? Game. Damn, why does it look like that? Oh! Oh! I hate it. Look, I'll just do this. <laughs> I hate it. All right, I'll fix it later. Whatever. All right. Let's go back. Uh, have I watched The Last of Us TV show? Yeah, I watched the last one, the last episode yesterday. It's really good. I was asking for a 20 X, X and up. There's so a software called NVIDIA Broadcast that goes background removal without the need for green screen. Interesting. Yo, AI is scary. AI is scary to me. Okay. How do I reload? And then if I do that... That's how you switch. Okay, so I can only have three weapons in here. That's what that was. All right. Well, we'll see if this. Oh, 
No! Yep. Hello? Oh my goodness, is my... Yeah, I'm on the wrong keys, that's why. Gotta keep my fingers on the E. Ah! Oh my goodness. Okay, now how do I... Okay, that works. Ew! Ew! a rhythm game as it is I'm not on the beat Is there another one yeah okay oh Oh boy. Sir. Bruh. Damn it. No. And when she got angry, I keep you hitting the wrong again. button. Ah! I think you have two levels left in this. Eon, thank you so much for the sub. 54 months. That is crazy to me, Eon. Thank you so much. It's funny. I was talking about you the other day in a voice chat. 
we were talking about furries and i'm like i know a guy <laughs> oh man hi martha how you doing it's interesting to remember to stay on b yeah it's it's yeah it's difficult uh all right let's let me read the chat before i attempt this again you can resurrect the unknown two more times if you do a portion of your score will be taken as an offering i mean i guess ruin leon is starting a 24-hour stream i don't know why let's see uh <laughs> Kill those demons one of them look like aoc oh dear and cap says this game feels like what diablo 3 would have been if it was first person yeah you have to attack on rhythm and i'm my problem is and this is why i'm, I'm trying to learn keyboard but i'm probably not using the best keyboard i can for gaming um my fingers keep they they move off of w or I hit W instead of hitting E. I'm really bad at it. I'm gonna try it again. All right. I play on lamb difficulty. It's too hard for me right now. <laughs> Let me take this off, hold on. Ah! Okay. Ian says, I'm also drinking aloe flavored drink grape Ooh, it's different all right let's try it again i guess we're gonna resurrect wow wonder how it would have win if ritual had succeeded okay so now this way What the hell do I do here? What do I do here? Oh. here I don't know how to get you out of there boom I got your way up Okay, who is, uh, who is next? Let's see. Eon says, all right, I'm off in a run and lurk. Hope you have an amazing day. You as well. You as well. Where am I going? Am I going down? It is lava. Where the hell am I going? Hello? Is this a glitch? Am I just blind? Bruh. I think this glitched. No? Up here? Maybe? Is it up here? Maybe it's in here. Oh no, it's in here. Okay. It didn't glitch. I glitched.
Fan was working some darker magic. Hello? What is that? Is that for me? She took the hill, crew. Oh, that's mine. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What's that? Oh, whoa, 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 yay, yay! What's the matter with you? Hey! Uh. Nope, nope, nope. Mm. There you go. No, 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 Another one? about this oops i don't know about the oh, no one ah! heard the music now there was still more to do you hurt my head no we can resurrect one more time fine let's resurrect take away my score take away fine it's that finisher move that i gotta get the hang of Oh, 
Oh, man. I can get you over here. Yeah, this red thing. You're just annoying for no reason. She was just getting warmed up. Eon says, well, before I run, I wanted to ask you something. Could I DM you and ask? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Hellcrow is my favorite weapon. Yeah, Hellcrow was fun. Um, oh, wow. Okay. I wonder if I can actually... Let me... Can I... Uh, change the controls for this? Continue. Hold on. All right, Gothics. I have school work to do. Bye, Comrade Sammy. Enjoy your school work. School work. Um. Okay. So let's choose. Try settings. Controls. E is slaughter. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a lot easier. Why didn't I think of that? Reload. Reload is going to be this. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who enjoys schoolwork? Well, you can at least pretend to enjoy schoolwork. <laughs> schoolwork. I mean, I never did. Bart Raccoon said, I would answer as soon as you tell me what what you mean by representation. I am black, and I want to see black people in video games. If I were gay, I suppose I would want to see gay people in video games. That's what I mean. Okay, let's try this again. Gothics, have you thought about trying MLB The Show? Isn't that like baseball? Is that baseball? I have a hot take about sports games. I don't think they're really games. <laughs> I'm like, just go out and do the actual sport. <laughs> oh man. So Bart Raccoon says, then it's very important. Now why? That's what I want to know. Why is representation in the context of me feeling represented as a black woman important in a video game? I'm Caucasian, but I think representation is important. Why? Or maybe Jeopardy? Jeopardy? What do you mean, a Jeopardy game? I would, I would bomb. <laughs> I'd, I'd bomb so much. <laughs> I'm debating if I want to get another coffee right now before I start this one, or should I kill this first? I got a little bit left. Just go out and do this what I'm saying, like... Go out and do the sport. I would be curious to know what the percentage is of people who play sports games and are good at it compared to how good they would be playing the actual sport. Like, I, I, I'm actually curious about that. Bart Raccoon says, because we need diversity in every aspect of life. So, diversity in every aspect of life. Okay, why do we need that? Like, what, what is the importance of diversity if we're talking about something on the surface level of skin color or sexuality? What, it, what do I get out of seeing someone that looks like me in a video game? Uh, Deathfang says, I will say for representation, it feels like that you are seen and have a character to relate and attach to instead of feeling left out and not being able to connect with any character. So are you saying that in order for you to connect with a character, you have to share a physical characteristic? Because I don't. 
in case it wasn't entirely obvious, I don't see the point of representation. If we're talking about representation in terms of skin color, I don't feel connected to a black person in a video game or a movie. I want to know how they think. You know, I think I, I think if anything, it uh, it enables hive mind mentality. It en enables collective thinking. And then it says, hey, if you put these two Negroes in a room together, they're going to get along. How do you know that? How, how do you know we're going to get along, relate to each other just because we're black? I think this is a real controversial take. I think representation is uh, it ends up inevitably leading to more discrimination. Like if the objective is that we need more diversity in games to be more tolerant, and to be less racist, it's going to lead to those very things. Because then what comes out of it is someone who probably looks at me as like, well, you don't like representation? What's wrong with you? Which, I mean, this is a thing that's actually happened. It's like, well, hold on. You don't think like the other blacks. <laughs> uh, Divine Dreaming, how you doing? Sometimes, though, representation can cause controversy. And I would even go as far as to say that representation, uh, we didn't have the luxury of representation in games when games first came out, but we seem to have somehow managed. And I said this at the beginning of the stream, I see a lot of black creators that are always beating the uh, racial drum because there's lack of representation in video games. And then once they finally get it, it's not the type of black that they want to see. This is wrong with the character. She's not doing this enough. She doesn't seem like this. So so then the question is, what exactly are you trying to represent? Are you trying to represent an immutable characteristic or are you trying to represent an idea? And if that's the case, then you might as well just say that. Have, have I ver diverse ideas? T plus Murr says, as a black person, not really too important. Good gameplay, character development, and story is more important than that. If there's a good character that's black like me, it's a bonus. I can agree with that. Bart says, like in The Last of Us 2, when we saw the lesbian kiss, people got offended. I didn't. I don't want to see anybody kiss. <laughs> I don't. I just want to play a game. <laughs> uh, that, that's how I look at it, man. Like, ugh. <laughs> Pico says, all games have to be gay or else it's homophobic game. Change my mind. No, I, I mean... We kind of heard that with uh, Cyberpunk when it came out. There's no... People were complaining about lack of representation, so they introduced someone who was a seemingly a trans character, and that wasn't good enough. It's the wrong type of trans. <laughs> All right, I'm going to focus on this again. Let me see. That was my primary. I think I want to change that. Wait, this was... This is... What is this again? That's the Vulcan. No, I like this one. That one was fun. And this secondary, what does this do again? Attacks, slice through demons, okay. Unlike other ranged weapons, it doesn't need reloading. That's the damage on that. Damage on that is pretty good. I think this will be my primary. This will be my secondary. Hmm. Death Fang says, I will say I'm kind of easy to please when there's a black person chilling with main characters or something that's cool. I'm not expecting uh, them to be like, I'm insert sexuality here and other stuff like that. Oh, I didn't hear about the cyberpunk, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like the latest thing is um, is is the Forspoken character who's black. Oh, the game's full of massage noir. Okay, well, I guess representation is just it's a moot point then. Well, like you're never going to be satisfied. Bart, Bart Raccoon says, to be honest, I'm looking forward to a black main character in Final Fantasy games. So far, every main character in Final Fantasy games have all been white. I mean, I find that irrelevant, though, because if all the characters in Final Fantasy have been white, does it negate the fact that the games are good? I never played Final Fantasy, so I'm just, just putting that out there. I never played it. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like if it's... Uh, if someone intends to have a character or a franchise where it just they only represent a certain skin tone because that's their product and that's what they want to do, 
I don't see any point of trying to change it. Like, what else is it adding aside from a few people getting excited that someone is black in it? You know? It's bizarre to me. Um, you hate Vulcan? That's Vulcan, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try this. Let's go with that. Papa say Sarge says, I had a bud buddy that played basketball for a school team and was also pretty good at NBA 2K. Wow. Cool. Being a World War II buff, I love those Medal of Honor games. You know, I've never played it. Never played it. Rachel Spears didn't work. So it All was right. back Can to I the skip old this? Drawing board for I can't the skip this. <laughs> it won't let me skip it! I'm liking this game. It's fun. I'm not on beat though, but I changed my settings on my controller. So let's see. I mean, my mouse. If that helps. Ba, 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 yeah. Mm. Mm. It's just hard to see on beat with this one. Hello? Am I not doing that right? Okay. Oh, I got no health. Where is it? I got no health. Help. Help. I got health over there. Oh, come on. There we go. succeeded Jeez. okay I would need a little bit more help there's a perk you can get to help increase your damage when you're low on health but getting it is hard mm. okay the issue with modern representation seems to be that they only add it to check off boxes then store usually suffers as a result because it no longer is the main focus I mean yeah you can see that uh, like you can see it with like a like especially in like the comics industry and the TV 
industry it's like the the political messaging and they and here's the thing representation is definitely political because if you were to survey the left versus the right what side do you think would be more interested in representation usually the left so i have seen people in those fields say all we care about is our messaging it's about the message and if they don't like the game or they don't like the show whatever it doesn't matter it's about the message that's how you lose money surprised i haven't died yet Nope. Let's see. All right, all right, all right. Chaco says the message is a nice way of saying is saying is raining we. What? Pico says are we talking about representation representation in general for and for all games or is it, or is it something more specific? I mean, what's the point of representation in a shooter or racing games? I don't know, man. That's what I want to know. Why do you need to know? Uh, I, I think, to be honest, it, it, I think it's even more interesting when they're talking in terms of... I'm talking just in, in terms of, like, games in general, but uh, I don't think it's important at all. But I think it's even more bizarre when it's sexuality. So in the context of, I think it was Overwatch, they made Soldier 76 gay. Okay. <laughs> why? <laughs> Tell me why. Why do I need to know this? <laughs> Hello? There is a perk you can get that helps increase damage. You basically have to kill 100 enemies without healing. Oh, um, can I do that on the easiest mode? Because I would do it then. Just like how David King is gay in Dead by Daylight. It was an afterthought, clearly. Oh, so about that. Do you, I don't know if you guys remember this. When they released David and they said he was gay, I remember, and then they added the gay charms in Dead by Daylight, and you know what happened? All the gays, well not all, but a lot of them, were complaining that they were getting hooked first, and they were saying, it's homophobic, they're homophobic, that's why they're hooking us, they're homophobic. Oh, not because you suck at the game, that couldn't possibly be it, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, 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 it's just homophobia. So that, again, it, it leads to more problems. I don't think people, what is this black sludge following me? Am I in here now? Oh, oh, they scared me in here. Hmm. Not because it's the killer's goal or anything, they're clearly being targeted, yeah. And you know what the thing is, and this is also another, you know, side rant that I have about about the grievance, uh, the grievance industry, or the grievance culture, whatever you want to call it, is that you have all the power to not be offended in a game. So if you're if you legitimately believe that you're being targeted in a game because you're the character you're using is gay or the charm you're using is a pride flag, then the most logical thing to do would be to not use that character, not use that charm. And then what? But see, that's the problem is it would take away any opportunity for people to complain. They want to be victims. It's, it's kind of sick.
Mm, nope, I don't want to get that yet. Wanna get that? I get that. Oh no, it's chaotic. Oh boy, I don't know about this. Well, at least I got a little bit farther. All right. Give me a second. Woo! Are you running this on Steam? I am. I am. God, how do you play these games and talk at the same time? I could never play these two games. <laughs> oh, I enjoy that you are firing the matches with the beat of the song. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, he was sparking the crap out of me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Um, Bat Barbados says, no, Bat Bartos. Sorry about that. Can people not enjoy a story of a game if they're not represented in a game? Demanding representation in a game to appease an ego of some wokeness is wrong and takes away from the story in some cases. No, I agree with you 100%. The overarching um, reason of why I think representation ends up being bad, even if it's, if it's with good intent, is because it enables uh, people to fester in their insecurities because the reality is no one is obligated to represent you no one has to show you someone that looks like you in a game 
or acts like you in the game. And it also enables people to fester in, um, like I said, in their insecurities, but also not want to um, do what is necessary in order for them to appease themselves. If that's something that they genuinely want, what's stopping them from pursuing a career in game design or, or being an actress or something of that, uh, of, of that sort? I think it's because these things take hard work. So, for example, if I was a, an actress and I wanted to get into the industry and I wasn't landing any gigs, it would be easier for me to claim these people are racist as opposed to the reality that mm, perhaps it would benefit me if I took more acting classes to get better at this particular thing that I'm trying to do. You know, and this is why you see a lot of diversity hires. Let's just check them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work for us. Be our voice actress. Be our, you know, represent us. Yes, diversity. And then it ends up backfiring because these people aren't uh, learning new skills. There's no merit to what they're doing. It's just, I am black. I am gay. I am disabled. Hire me. Stupid. All right. Bar tail delight. How you doing? How are you doing? Lost Ogre says, in the question of the day, representation is important, but not to the level the woke crowd makes it. Why is it important even if the woke, woke crowd doesn't make it that important? I'm curious. Samantha says, I am gay and brown. The only thing I'm a victim of is having to be constantly bombarded with non-playable character talking points. Oh, hold on a second. I didn't see the rest of that. It scrolled up. Um, talking points that tell me I have to rely on how they are telling me to think and live instead of having my own agency to make good decisions and live for my own life and walk on my own path with God. Yeah. Pretty much it. That's it. Uh, Aura Cool says, feels like if you put too much representation in games, it might take away from the story. You can make every character in the game interesting, having too many characters with X, Y, and Z takes from the main character. Mm. Mm. Tough Love Bunny says, I used to make simple video games and even wrote code, but it requires hard thinking and trial and error to make it work. Yeah. Turkey Face says, I hate how DVD removed Leatherface mask because of Claudette was because the Claudette one was racist. It was her actual skin. I'm gonna play this game again. <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't hear about that. <laughs> I am avenging myself. Is that it? Knew they had a Damn, I just had one more hit and I would have been fine. Though. Down here? Down, 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 deeper into the mines. Why can't I do that? Do it, do it, do it.
I can never get that right. Okay. Ooh. Sheesh. Hello? Am I on top of you? Boom. Isn't woke just another word for cancel culture? Mm, mm, I guess it. I mean, I think they're both, uh, they go hand in hand. I think if one is woke, one is prone to wanting to cancel someone. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, almost went out that. Okay. Okay. Or actually, can I just? Oh, I guess I'll just do this. Okay. Oops. Oh yeah. I hate these guys. Bruh. They are so annoying.
Bruh. I didn't want to do that, but no, whatever. As long as I kill you. What do you want? wait a moment before I get angry at this. Sir Darwinning says, Gothic sense here question if you're talking about representation in the sense of ideas of like the zealot and the denier. How do you say that? And yes, that fundamentals of narrative, but if you're talking about what I think you are, it's only important if your needs to be if there needs to be a conflict about it or your story takes place under an era also, this soundtrack slaps. You know what? I'm going to agree with you because if representation... I think someone said something similar, but I like the way you said it. If it fits into the game, like if if it makes sense and not shoehorned in. Uh, Fluffy Butt said, I came back with KFC. I sit down and you die? Maybe I should walk away again. <laughs> Do you want a biscuit? I would love a biscuit. You don't like them? Excuse you. Wrong. That's That's terrible. That's terrible. Over on YouTube, Cranberry Lager says representation of your idea and story. Yes, I agree. Idea and story is important. Yeah, so what is the game and is there a purpose of this survival thing? So this is a, I'm playing as a demon. I don't really know the backstory to be perfectly honest with you because I don't like to read. <laughs> Sometimes the backstories aren't really relevant to me in games. You know, like if it makes sense, obviously if I'm play paying like a, if I'm playing like a campaign where I'm talking to other characters, I guess. I don't know, in some games it works, some games I just want to kill things, you know. Try biscuits covered in gravy. I love biscuits and gravy. Oh, it's so good. Okay. I'm back. Nope. No, can you just not? I have a health right there. Let me get that. Yes. No, oh, you guys are really getting on my nerves. Goodness. Can you not? Hmm. I don't know about this. I might die here. Oh, man. No. Ah. 
Oh man, come on. Unknown heard the music now. Oh! There's still more to do. This one's hard. This is hard for me. Divine Dreaming says, I had to remove my LinkedIn picture because a crazy person I knew 10 years ago from school found me. It was weird as fuck. <laughs> oh, man. You know, um, I remember I had to, I had a dating profile from like 15 years ago. And someone within the last two years found me on Instagram and was trying to strike up a conversation. And I'm like, um, no. <laughs> uh, goodbye. I had to find, I had to find that account and delete it. Cause I'm like, that's bizarre. I had plenty of fish profile. Yeah. Tough Love Bunny says, yes, Wokeness is trying to get female space marines even though you already have sisters of battle or they tried to get rid of space wolves wearing fur. Hmm. Lost Ogre says, however, I believe in diversity through natural inclusion. Basically, you choose to be the best from what is in the pool. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Natural diversity is key. You know, who cares if nobody likes you? Give them a reason to like you. How do you do that? Not by saying, I demand you accept me or showing your worth. You know, like if you have something to offer the world, even if you have no skills, a nice smile, a good personality, a friendly demeanor could be just enough to change someone's mind and naturally want to include you in something as opposed to screeching like a banshee <laughs> then no one wants to include you bard says for the paranoid it may be useful to run a background on yourself you'd be amazed on the digital trail you leave i believe it eon says this year i'm choosing to care less the drama is giving me issues with my heart yeah i think i think it's good uh, bye, Jerry. Gotta go. Cool to watch you play. Look out for those cigars, Jerry. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You're awesome. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Chaco says, I completely lost touch with people from my secondary school. I ain't sad about it either. Sometimes people grow apart naturally, you know? Um, I think that um, for what Eon said, it is good to be informed, but to also not be consumed. Don't let it consume you, you know? I think, um, I think it's easy to make the mistake, not you in particular, but I think it's easy to make the mistake to say, I don't want to care at all. And then you become hardened and you put up this wall. And I don't think that's good. I think it's okay. Recognize things that are in my control, recognize the things that are not in my control and don't let something consume you, especially if it's something that's not in your control. All right, um, let's go continue. I'm just upset about this. So I can't even do this until I finish this. Bruh. You upset me. Yeah, I was doing go. You upset me. I went to crappy Los Angeles public schools. The majority are in prison or they lack critical thinking skills. Ooh. Ooh. Here's a fun question. And then I might go get some coffee. Here's a fun question. With all the world's drama and just how chaotic things are and whatnot, what do you think if you had to pinpoint the one problem we're talking about like topically, not spiritually here. Just say topically. What do you think the one problem is with the overall general 
population. What do you think the main problem is for people and why they're so angry and demanding and like what 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 is it? So Divine Dreaming says lack of information. Tough Love Bunny says poorly informed. Eon Fluffy Butt says social media. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. No over on YouTube says they have no love. Mmm. I like these answers. Chaco on YouTube says the overall general problem with these people is that they have <laughs> they don't have enough chocolate. <laughs> you know, that is a problem. We should we should do a GoFundMe to give these sad people some chocolate. Um, Divine Dreaming says they get manipulated combined with economic warfare. Hmm. Tough Love Bunny says especially badly informed about history. Mm-hmm. The average person works all day, has to provide for their family, and then they read the news and just go with it. Yeah, I mean, I was one of those. I was definitely one of those. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Hmm. I would agree with pretty much all of you guys. Every single thing. I, um... I would also add to that... I mean, yeah, we, and I can tie all of that back to not being anchored by a standard beyond us, you know, because uh, if, you know, if you don't believe in, in God, you're just going to go with the flow, go with whatever people tell you, and then you end up wor worshiping people and uh, and taking their word for it. But, but aside from that, I also think, and all of these kind of tie into it, I also think that... Um, People have this desire to be accepted by the world. And um, they care too much about what other people think of them. You know, it's like, well, that's that's not realistic. It'd be ideal if people liked us, but it's not, you know. It's a lot of people that don't like me. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. Um, it's, it's unrealistic standards. Uh, so yeah, that's what I would say. Bard says, I think it's a constant messages of doom and gloom that many people fall into mediocrity or simply lose hope for the future or the lesser extent. Divine Dreaming says, lack of principles. Yeah, they're entitled or, oh, they're a bunch of self-entitled brats in need of a massive, small, in, in need of a massive, small in the head. <laughs> Uh, if they don't like you, I will fight them. <laughs> no need for fighting. I give, I give so much love to people that don't like me. It used to break me, but now I'm like, I have empathy. Cause I, I see the world through a different lens now. And I'm like, oh, okay. There's a deeper issue with these people. And they legitimately think canceling complaining about people not liking you uh tearing everyone down is the way to fix those issues but in actuality it's just i think it's just providing instant gratification for someone that uh lacks emotional maturity and they think if someone hurt me or or i just i don't feel comfortable in this situation let me do something extreme to make me temporarily feel good about myself instead of wondering why i feel that way in the first place without a dad you go insane and can't use logic it's all emotions <laughs> well i mean having yeah not having a dad definitely contributes to it i would say that yeah but even there's some people with dads that are there they got their own set of problems people want to be validated yeah oh yeah they keep trying to look perfect because of the internet. It's mental illness. So going back to what Eon Fluffy Butt said, social media has really an, uh, um, exacerbated that desire to be accepted. It's really made people uh, consumed with how they look to one another. And it's probably, if I had to guess, it's probably why cancel culture is as bad as it is. Because just taking from my experience, when uh, I <laughs> take an example here, when I voted for Trump, <laughs> the majority of people stopped talking to me 
not because they randomly decided I was a bad person. They stopped talking to me because they they cared about what their friends thought about being associated with me. Your friends? You gotta stay friends with her? She voted for a white supremacist. Yeah, because that makes sense. Right? So it's it's you put too much of, of a desire to be accepted by people who realistically you're not you don't owe them anything. They don't owe you anything. You know? You wanna see how many of these people on the internet are actually your friends you 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 want to you really want to know stop stop using social media and stop texting and see if any of them call you up assuming you gave them your number see if they call you up most people aren't going to go through that trouble because they live the world through their little digital screen and they have no perception about how the real world operates your IQ will go down on social media. Yeah, and your depression will go up. Your anxiety will go up because there's this factor of comparing yourself to other people. You see someone's five photos on Instagram and you think, wow, they're so lucky. They're so perfect. They have everything. Or you get the reverse. You see a few tweets from me. She's a racist. She's a fascist. She's, she's problematic. Social media makes you cuckoo. <laughs> it makes you cuckoo. Myoclonic jerk. How you doing? Is it Moyo? Moyo? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Let me, uh, I'm going to go get another cup of coffee. If you guys don't mind, give me a second. I'll, uh, I'll let, I'll put this up. So you guys can, uh, converse. M, M I O? M I O. Got you. Bart says that I can only speak from personal experience. My life changed when I, when I fell no love that was the catalyst that led me down a spiritual path i am now with the observation of myself i think most of the angriest people haven't found it yet most of the angriest people have not found love and it's because we are surrounded by a culture that tells you love is love uh you can't define something by using the word itself as the definition Love is love. What does that mean? What is that? Mm. Something to chew on. All right, let me be right back. Let me get my uh, my coffee.
I have returned. I see Pico over on YouTube. Feeling are just general ideas. I think their definitions isn't definitive. It's just to give at least some context. It's like defining colors. Yeah. Tough Love Bunny says, some people can hate passionately too, so that can be love too. Is the mic crackling or popping or is it the game? It's the game. It was the game. I think I'm going to switch games for a little bit. So I have to leave around uh, 3.30. Um, yeah, it's fine. Do you want to shred it? Yeah. All right, that's fine. Thank you, babe. Um, <clears throat> so I have to, yeah, I have to leave. I have to stop streaming like a little bit before three thirty, and then tonight at nine p.m. Eastern, I'm gonna be on um, Geeks and Gamers. I'll post the link once it comes out. I don't know if it's published yet, but yeah, I'll be on Geeks on the Geeks and Gamers channel tonight at nine Eastern. Do you always get food out of thin air? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All the time. Yep. Woo! Okay, so... I think I'm gonna switch games. Let's quit. Let's switch games for a little bit. Because this is intense, and I'm gonna get food in a second. So I gotta be able to eat. <laughs> Geeks and gamers again. Woo! When is 3.30? 3.30 is like in an hour. In an hour. All right, so I forget that I have viewers around the world. All right, um, Tuesday night main event, heck yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what we're talking about. Whenever they invite me on, I'm like, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> oh man, I'm not, I'm not quite in the know. I think I've just become a lot more selective with whom I give my money to. So if they're talking about movies and games and stuff, I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't really want to invest in companies that hate me. <laughs> Good stream gothics. I got to go. Get ready for work now. Hey, Grace. Enjoy your day. Thank you so much for hanging out. All right, I'm going to switch my game here. We're going to play good old DVD because I can actually eat and multitask as I do this. Let's see. Oh, okay, so I got the topics for tonight for Geeks and Gamers. <laughs> uh, Netflix CEO quits. Mark Hamill and JK Rowling tweet and Velma. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Scotty says, I just got here. I don't think representation really matters, but if social justice warriors try to make it important, I would probably stop gaming, which I've been trying to anyways. Isn't that sad, though? Right? It's like, that's your hobby. Gaming's my hobby. And, you know, why can't I? Hello? Oh, that's what that's what happened. Oh, hold on a second. Let me fix this. Whoa, what the hell? I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to fix something here. Whoa, hello. I'm just I'm all over the place. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Hello? Why isn't this showing up? There we go. The hell? Okay. It's the for forbidden VHS. Oh. I see. I see. Okay. Dan, the title of this vid is the exact 
video I was gonna make, but for other stuff like anime, you should do it! I received a gift! Wow! Look guys, you can get a COVID face mask! But the Chinese version. <sighs> Alright. Uh, clothes, yeah. Mm. Loyalty Reaper says, I just got here too. I agree, representation doesn't really matter to me, but uh, I glad... I just glad if I can play a female character, I don't care if she's not Mexican like me. You know what the funny thing is, is that you, you reminded me of this, is whenever in most games that I play where there's either, let, let's say if it's a military game or some type of combat game, and I have the option between playing a guy versus a girl, more often than not, I'll choose the guy. And... Uh, I think, honestly, subconsciously, my brain is like, I want to pick the character that's going to whoop ass. Take and do that with whatever you will. <laughs> that's, that's how I perceive these characters. Uh, Aussie says, I forced myself to watch a couple of ep episodes of Velma and it was painful. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry. Okay, so play is killer. We're going to do that. Oh, let me move this over here, so... And let me try and do this, dude. Alright, let's do that. Let me fix this, though. Hold on a second. I don't like how that looks. Uh, that camera. Hmm. Hold on a second. All right, I know you're angry. You're angry, I get it. Um, hold on. Let's look at my face. I'm sorry for you looking at my face. And I'm like, I'm invisible again. I just don't understand. Shut up. Hmm. I guess that's a little better. All right. That's better. <sighs> okay. Um. I choose female because I don't want to stare at a guy's ass for hours on end. Aussie says, why don't we just go back to making the priority of entertainment be entertaining? No, no, no. That's, that's, you can't do that. You, you would, you, we need the, we need the messaging because of reasons. I'm 39 next month and growing up, I never once heard a minority complain that there wasn't enough this and that. Yeah, no, I, 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 I was saying that earlier, like when I started playing video games the characters they were they, they look like pixels so why does anyone care they care now because people are too infatuated with being accepted by the world that's what i think we have to voice the opinions in games and movies now i don't want it purple honey says over on youtube the way you have your setup reminds me of your older twitch days i know it's very reminiscent huh Pico says, I get why some people would like their character to be just like them, like in an RPG, and I hated it when I couldn't date a dude in games like Mass Effect, but does that make the game homophobic? Nah. <laughs> oh, man. I kid you not, I don't know if I've ever t said this when I was streaming on games, but uh, I walked out of a movie. Um, I was, well, was watching the new Candyman. And I went to the theater expecting to see, okay, let's see this uh, this new remake of this horror movie, right? The first scene, it's about police brutality. I walked my ass to the bathroom and I was there for like 10, 15 minutes. I don't even know, but it was a while. And I was upset. I was upset. Like what? The whole movie, white supremacy, racism, police brutality. And I'm like, yo, 
And that's why I don't watch a lot of movies. I don't buy a lot of new games because I really don't like the idea of being bamboozled or, or not bamboozled, being suffocated with victimization or, or social justice. I hate it. It's like my husband started watching um, Wednesday, which I protested from the get because leave Adam's family alone. Uh, but he started watching Wednesday and it was good. And, and then around like the seventh episode, they start injecting some wokeness into it. And now he doesn't watch it anymore. <laughs> and so I think they're getting sneakier with it where they're delaying the messaging so that you will buy into their stuff and make an investment until it's too late. That's why I unsubbed to Cinema Sins today. Their wokeness in their videos has been too much lately. I don't even know who that is. I always played as a girl in Pokemon games, but I'm a dude and I'm very far from trans. <laughs> the Watchmen series was hard to watch, especially if you were a fan of the original comic and movie. Nine times out of ten, if you watch a movie these days, I'll watch one from years ago that I've already seen plenty of times. Oh, me. Me too. I love older movies, a lot of older music. I'm starting to find new music that I'm like, oh, okay, it's not all degenerate. Um... Because I look at wokeness as degenerate, too. Let's see. Um. Mystery box. An unknown reward. What, what, what was... The, okay, what is this? A gesture of generosity to bring good fortune. The aura of your own envelope is revealed to you at the start of the trial. Interacting with your own red envelope reveals its aura to other players in the trial until it's claimed. Okay, I'm not really good with these events. I'm just be real with you. Oh, I should have got that one. Oh, whatever. Okay, all right. Your maximum suspense, TV. It's dangerous to go alone and take these. Hey, thank you so much for those biddies. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Gary Nerdronic talks about talks up Tulsa King. Great show, but even th that has woke shit in it. It's very subtle, though. Mm. Velvet Neon says it's a YouTube channel that's been going on for a long time. Comedy review about how they're doing movies wrong should base their review on story, cutting character development errors, and not. It's all racism, all kinds of phobia-isms. It's everything they have to mention. Meh. What's in this mystery box? Another one of those? I don't even know what that is. All right, sure. I don't like reading in games. Very problematic for me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I forgot I love those. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay, you're just... It's the same thing. You're just gonna keep giving me the same thing? Okay. Ah! Alright, one more. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is what I wanted. Right there. So I can use that, but do I have... Oh, oh no, I needed a crate. Rip. All right. Um, What is this? Survivors begin the trial with reverse bear traps installed. Let's put one of those. Um... Highlighted until their trap enables the survivor's ability to see jigsaw boxes highlighted until their trap is activated. Mmm. No. Generating in 10 seconds is removed. The death timer of all active reverse bear traps. Okay, um, let's try that. Let's try that. Hi, Volkitten! How are you? Vaivictus is saying, Reading is too much work in the game, but this comment is worth it. Wow! Wow! Bruh. You got me. 
<laughs> Aussie Wolf Hound says, I was watching another Twitch streamer a few days ago. A young female streamer from Ireland who I thought was cool at first and she started going on that Tim Burton was racist for having a preference for casting white people in his movies. I was watching Tim Burton probably before she was even born. <laughs> That's funny. That is so funny. That's so funny. You want to you wanna know? Okay, here's a test. Here's a test. So... If you don't want to waste your time trying to figure out what content creators are worth investing in, in, instead of waiting for the time bomb to eventually go off, here's what you do. Are you guys ready for this? Here's what you do. And this is just on Twitch. I don't know about YouTube. YouTube is a different ball game, all right? But just for Twitch, find a creator playing a game that you like. Go in, right? And in the chat, you will either put... Biden 2024 or you'll put Trump 2024 and if they ban you then you know that you dodge the bullet if they don't ban you then you know okay this person is open to conversation someone that's not open to conversation isn't worth talking to in my opinion because you can't do it you can't do it try it <clears throat> I um I learned this trick by going on a few uh, Twitch has a political section. I went on there and I saw people doing that. They would they would type Trump in the chat. Instantly they would get banned. I don't know if they had a bot that was just auto banning them. <laughs> Uh, but I'm like, okay, well, um, I'm not talking in here. Forget that. Let's see. Uh, no says, even a show about a guy hacking computers, they put politics and police brutality in it about Trump. <laughs> like, it's too much. And this was like a few years ago on the show. That's funny. The only game where I can remember a sort of representation done good was Dragon Age 3. They had some guys, some lesbians, a trans dude, but nothing felt forced and it was always a plot point. Hmm. That's interesting. Bart says, the thing is politics tend to be very divisive and a lot of streamers don't want their chat to be divided. So most of them don't want politics in their chat. See, I will push back on that because, th and this is by experience, if you try to keep your chat as non-divisive as possible, inevitably it will become divisive. When you say, I'm going to be intolerant to this conversation, even though it might be with good intentions, even though it might be with good intentions, you're going to end up eventually uh, having people bicker or they'll come after the streamer, which is exactly what happened to me. So, for example, I used to say no politics in my chat, no talk about religion. And, and I said these things because these tend to be the topics that people uh, will start arguments over. And then what happened? 2020 rolls around and I start seeing things that aren't normal. I start seeing a lot of things that I'm like, mm, you know what? I think I, I want to give my opinion on, th on this matter. And then my audience turned on me. And why did they do that? Because I had set the expectation that you were to never talk about politics in my chat. So my audience didn't even know I had, if you want to call them conservative ideas, they had no idea. And so I think it comes back to bite you in the ass. And then also you can say, where do you draw the line of what is divisive? If I say men are men and women are women, there's no such thing as trans, there's only such thing as a confused individual. If I were to say that, that's divisive. Well, no, that's reality. Right? So, like, where do you draw the line? Get back over here, stupid. All right, this was broken anyway. Let me go over here. No, I think I've never even done this map before. Hmm. 
Hmm. Bruh. I am. Bruh, you and your health packs. I hate when survivors coordinate with each other. How dare you actually use teamwork? Come back to me. Come back to me. Bruh. Let's go back here. I'm playing Miss Piggy very horribly right now. Very horribly. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, says Ancap Gamer. Absolutely. I learned that the hard way. Oh man. Totally. During COVID, streamers like Alinity got paid to push politics on their underage audience. A lot of the larger content creators on Twitch are not independent. I believe it. I saw a clip. What is her name? <sighs> not Amarath. What's the other one? I forgot her name. But she made a video where she was streaming saying, you know what? If I, I should coordinate with politicians to push for legislation that would hold people accountable online as they are off offline and i'm like um dum dum <laughs> why would why would you do that right but again these are people we were talking about this earlier about how a lot of creators aren't mentally prepared to be a creator so instead of accepting that yeah people are gonna be mean to you they're gonna troll you right instead of accepting that no 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 we gotta put legislation out so tommy442 doesn't say mean things to me what <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna do very good at this map. Nah, this match is, uh, is not very good. Come on, stupid. Whatever. Yeah, don't end up like us peeps in the UK. What's going on in the UK? Oh, did you guys, I see, I'm so out of the loop. Did you guys get a law passed like that? Tough Love Bunny says, let's say something to mean so she can push, so Gothics can push for legislation to censor the internets. Oh, come on! Yeah, dingbat. Yeah, that's, that's silly. Oh, you annoy me. People can barely handle the virtual world. Imagine them trying to live by the real, real world rules. Yeah. I like how people think they want to be immune to criticism. A lot of people think they are. Well, and, and here's the other thing. So the question of the day is about representation. Um, this is what representation also does, right? He, and I made a video on this. Representation says, I'm black. And I want to be represented in a game. Put a black girl in a game. Put a black girl in a movie. Because I want to feel represented. 
right? What it does, that's what it does on a micro scale. Now what happens when you do it on a macro? What happens for a bigger thing? I want diversity. So put a black woman in office. Okay, let's put a black woman in office. Don't ask about her values. Don't ask about what she believes, what her principles are, what her plans are. No, no, it doesn't matter. She's black. So that's what ends up happening is the whole representation thing. It's sort of, it's priming people to accept wholesale, accept nonsense just because they're black or they're gay or whatever. You here? Oh, thank you, babe. I love you. Thank you. I got food on my table. I don't even care if they win this game because I want food. I want food on my table. Mm. I dropped you a bit for locals later. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna take a look. I think it's called section 127. Ah, oh, come on, you. No, no, no. Wow. So that's what you're going to do? So that's what you're going to do? Okay. Oh, wow. I just want to eat my food. I'm about to just let him win. Let me, let me eat my food. There were there was a case in last year where the Scottish guy got arrested for calling an Irish guy a leprechaun online. Get out! That's... That's crazy. Bell Inion says, oh yeah, in my way, later way of user on Twitch, I sincerely hope they're gonna switch CEO at some point. Someone like Elon would be nice. There's a phrase that I like uh, that goes, never trust the living. So while Elon seems to have good intentions, I just don't put my faith in men. I can have the benefit of the doubt. But as far as thinking he's going to be the savior of Twitch, eh, not so sure. Not so sure. Hmm. All right. You guys are going to watch me. So here's the beauty of you watching me stream games is not a lot of people are watching. And uh, so I'm OK by eating in front of you. But when I'm on my main YouTube channel, and I got 300 people watching. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Like, stop looking at me. There's too many people judging me at once. Purple Honey says the weird thing about representation is that how can one person who has the same skin is a group of people carry every ideal that group wants. This one person can't represent what I find ideal. Yeah, true. It's because they don't care about what you think. They only care about what you look like because they can use you as a Trojan horse or whatever. I'm eating uh, chicken tinga over rice with avocado. Have some uh, green chili peppers in here and some roasted tomato and some onions. Hmm.
police showing up at a boy at a house of a 12 year old boy who used the n-word online i think that was such a thing in the uk wow wow hmm and all i had was eggs and bacon um excuse you eggs and bacon is delicious and you can spruce up eggs and bacon. You can spruce it up. Aussie says, have you got daylight savings in your neck of the woods now? Normally the East Coast is 12 hours behind me. X-Files type of stuff. We do have daylight savings, but I couldn't tell you when it is. <laughs> I have no idea. Please don't say put ketchup on eggs. No, that's not seasoning. I use ketchup very lightly when I dip some fries occasionally. Depends. If the fries are really bad, more than likely I'll use a lot of ketchup. Um, but yeah, you can put some like... Lately I've been making my eggs with some salt, some turmeric, some cilantro chopped up on the top. Boom. Um, Then I put that... I usually have sunny side up eggs and then I'll also fry up some uh some plantains or platanos if, if that is what you fancy and I'll let the yolk go on the plantains the sweet plantains so good man so good I just do eggs and hot sauce. Mm. My favorite type of eggs, which I have not tried making yet. I love eggs benedict. Some hollandaise sauce over it. There's this diner I go to that has truffle hollandaise sauce. Oh man, it's to die for. So good. My sister always eats rice or pasta with ketchup. I guess everyone has their thing, but... Huh. Interesting. Toasted bagel with cheese, scrambled eggs, and bacon is amazing. That sounds amazing. That sounds so good. I love bagels. Mm, 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 mm. And then tonight, before I go on Geeks and Gamers, my niece is, it's her birthday today, so there's going to be pizza. I don't know if I'll partake in pizza, but there's also chicken wings. And you know, us black people, we love chicken. So I'll be having some of that. <laughs> That was a really bad match. That was terrible. I'm ashamed. Last like coin molded into the fog is something that's in a spirit from at least two meters there infected with exposed. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. So problematic, Gothics. I'm always problematic, you know. It'd be like that. Okay. If we're going to talk geeks and gamers, where do you fall in the pineapple on pizza debate? It belongs. It belongs. However, I am very critical about pizza in general. The dough must be thin crust. If it's... D 
deep dish. I will eat it. I won't be excited, you know. Uh, but it must be thin crust. Be right back. All right. Had to get more food. Not sure if I saw that correctly, but the inside of your bowl seems green screen. Yeah, well, it's probably the avocado. Yeah. Are you getting the Dead Space remake on Saturday? Saw some previews. Looks amazing. Um, I don't know if I will. I'm not sure. I never played the original, to be honest. So... I don't know. Did they change a lot or was it just a visual update? Hmm. Chicken with hot sauce is the one voice. Hmm, yes, because you know me. Mm hmm. I love me some chicken and hot sauce. I keep the hot sauce in my purse, as you know. Hmm. Actually, let's do that. Okay. Hmm. Wait. Oops. I am gonna get Hogwarts Legacy, yeah. The failing cancel attempts against the game are hilarious. They're- they, yeah, that's funny. Actually, I want to see um, if I can put, yeah, I want that. Mm. Any was no, 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 no. no. Just do that. All right. I'm okay with the OG Dead Space, but too poor for the new game. I mean, that's kind of where I am. I have to be selective. Kind of poor. I wouldn't say poor, but a little bit broke. I'm tight. A little tight. Buddy of mine who's in his 20s doesn't even know what the boycott of Hogwarts is about. <laughs> He's just gonna buy it? Buy it! It's silly. It's so silly. Like, if you don't want to play something, just don't play it. These people go online to announce that they're not playing it. And? You want a biscuit for that? Stupid. Have you done the house sorting quiz? I have. I think I was, I did it years ago. I'm pretty sure I was Ravenclaw. I think. Maybe I have to retake it. Cause this was, this was years. My, my ideas have changed a lot. The 
This is the worst map for this guy. Hmm. This is the worst map. What do I even do with this? Save envelope. I... Oh. This is terrible. What house do you think Trump would be assigned? <sighs> I don't even know if he'd be assigned. He'd just buy the hat. He would buy the hat and the entire school. <laughs> and make his <laughs> make his own uh, class. Because <laughs> if he took the hat and he got sorted, he'd be like, fake news. <laughs> Wow, this is the, 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 literally the worst map for this dude. No. He'd call the school Trump Warts. Okay. You're not in here? No, no, no. Not in here. All right, someone's around this. Oh, you little butt. Mm. Come on! Ugh, the worst! Yo. I'm not having any luck. Are you serious? Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, man. Asshole. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hate it. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just... Is this real life? Is this real life? somebody down here let's see nope okay down here Ugh. It's no good. It's no good. <laughs> it's no good. You mean your aim? Damn. Chaco, why are you doing that? Why are you gotta be like that? Bro. Why do you have to be so exclusive? Okay, that is bull. <laughs> that is bull. Finally got one, damn. Damn, boy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, she got an LGBT flag. Well, clearly I gotta hang you up. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, everyone that was in reference to earlier where people think that they're getting targeted for wearing charms like that. Not because I want to purposely target her, but because she just so happens to be in my vicinity and I shall hang her. All right, let's see. Let's try this one again. Bruh, I should have just waited. gonna keep talking like that I might have to watch an earnest movie <laughs>
Where is she? I hear her. Bruh. I know someone's over here. I just saw those marks. Bruh. Hmm. Well, that's a loss. Oh, there's a bucket. Oh no, that's a lantern. What do I do with this? Receive favor? What does that even do? I don't even know what that does. Oh, it just gives me... Oh. Well, that's nice. I'm gonna let them go. I'm just gonna eat. When in doubt, just eat. But you know, you mentioned Hogwarts earlier, J.K. Rowling starting to connect the dots now, Gothics. What do you mean? Actually, stay here and look at these TVs. Hmm. Hmm. GG. Kinda. I guess. I was making fun after you after mentioning hanging up the LGBT charm. Oh, I didn't even notice. Okay, touche, touche. I'm going to, now that you guys mention it, I think I'm going to quit this and take the Hogwarts test. Why not? Let's take the test. Let's see what I am. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Let's uh, put that here. Sorting hat test. All right, let me um find it. Sorting hat wizard more. Is that what that is? Okay. 
Um, hmm. Oh, is it Pottermore? I'm over on Wizardmore. Hmm. Is there a Pottermore? Is it just Wizardmore? House quiz? Why can't this show up? All right, let me, uh, hello? Window capture. Um, that's not what I want. Okay, it's on my face, though. All right, I'm on, uh, wizard more. Hard more. Why does that look like a? Okay. Oh, I'm not logging into this. Let's do this one. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to do this one because I'm not making an account. JD Spirit, is that little baby? Yo, is that JD? How you doing, Jordan? How you doing? Pottermore is what you want, but why? Can I not? If I type in Pottermore, Potter, Pottermore, Pottermore. This is a shop. Pottermore.com. Oh, yeah. So just just take me to Wizarding World. Hello? Hogwarts sorting. You want me to sign up? Bruh. Well, let me sign up. All right. I didn't want to sign up, but I'm going to sign up for you guys. Sign up. What's my birthday? <sighs> Verify email. <sighs> Best name. Vanessa. Last name. Rosa. Continue. Hmm. You're making me sign up for this. Hmm. There are multiple outlets that have the same quiz where you don't have to sign up. Okay, let's see. Uh, create my portrait. What does this mean? Oh, I can make a portrait. Wow. Well, she obviously has to be brown. Nah. In retaliation, we're gonna make her white. And the eyes. Shall have there we go. There we go. The glasses give you an eye patch. Give you the most monstrous nose possible. All right. The lips you're gonna have braces. And of course, cultural appropriation is what we want. You got a mole. You know what? Let's, um, feeling a little trans today, I guess. Put a beard on you. And while we're at it, um, there we go. And we could also add a little bit of, uh, jewelry. Yeah. Hmm. Nice scarf, perhaps. Hmm. Let's add some jewelry. You literally designed a culturally appropriated trans pirate. <laughs> of course, we need a cat. How about a toad? A uh, rat. What is this? Yeah, all right, let's do a rat. Perfect. Hot wizards in your area. <laughs> What's your shirt say? Oh, uh, it says, um, uh, 
will all be civil. Uh, what, what, oh, I can't even remember. Hold on a second. My brain is trying to compute. What does it say? Oh, duh. We're all cognitive dissonance. That's what it says. I forgot for a minute. And you can get this shirt in my shop. I don't even know what my shirt says. <laughs> Merch is in the panels below. <laughs> Complete portrait. Save. When you get the Hogwarts game, you could link this account to it and it'll be... And we'll use the house and wand you get. Interesting. Okay. Um... So now we need to <sighs> This is very important. Okay. We need to figure out what house I'm in before we figure out the, the wands. Hey yo chill, Gothic. My man watches Twitch and you're gonna steal him away with this character. <laughs> uh JD says I got a bit of a head cold, but I'm surviving. This sucks though. I hate being all sneezy and such. I know how you feel. I know how you feel, man. All right, let me get sorted. Here we go. Dawn or dusk? I prefer dawn. Which of the following would you hate? Would you most hate people call you ignorant, selfish, ordinary, cowardly? Mm. Would I hate people call me this? No one's called me this, but I would hate if people called me a coward. Four goblets are placed in front of you. Which would you choose to drink? The smooth, thick, richly purple drink. Oh, they made this for black people. That gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. The mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. The foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. The golden liquid so bright that it hurts the eye and which makes sunspots dance all around the room. Hmm. I mean... I, um, I kind of want to get purple drink. I think I'm going to go with purple drink. Yeah. Captain Doku. Hi, Gothics. Have you heard of an indie game called uh, Indie Game Dead Cells? They're doing a DLC collaboration with Konami called Return to Castlevania. Dead Cells sounds familiar. JD says, well, people have called you some pretty bad stuff, but never broke. Hey! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. Mm. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? A cat? A toad? Or an owl? Hmm. To take with me. Now this is very tricky because I've never had a toad or a frog, so I don't really know how they behave. I feel like a owl would hang around me and keep watch. Uh, and I, but I think cats would be more lovable. However, cats like to get into shit. They like to roam around, and I'd be going throughout Hogwarts trying to find Oscar. Have you guys seen Oscar? No. Nobody? Okay. I feel like it would be more annoying to bring my cat. But out of principle, I will say cat. Oh, ginger cat. White cat. Siamese cat. Tabby cat. Black cat. I think the tabby looks a lot more like Oscar, so I guess I'll take tabby. A muggle confronts you and says that they are sure you are a witch or wizard. Do you A, make, well, ask them what makes them think so, 
tell them that you're worried about their mental health and offer to call a doctor. Bruh, this is literally what cancel culture says. When these wokies get on Twitter and say so-and-so is problematic, d like, no word of a lie. When I voted for Trump, people legitimately thought that uh, my mental health got so bad that it made me into an extremist. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Um, agree. Ask them whether they'd like a free sample of Jinx. Agree and walk away, leaving them wonder whether you're bluffing. I like asking questions. Which of the following would you most like to study? Mer people, centaurs, werewolves, vampires, goblins, trolls, ghosts. Hmm. Ghosts. Mm hmm. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Loneliness, boredom, hunger, being ignored, cold. I don't like being cold. <laughs> That's funny. That's so random. Um, I would say cold. I hate it. Heads or tails? Hmm. I'm gonna go with heads. The sorting hat is ready to make its decision. Are we ready for this? What do you think I'll be sorted into? Hmm? What would you like? What would you hope that I would be sorted into? Is it Gryffindor? Is it Slytherin? Is it Wakanda? Oh, there is no Wakanda in Hogwarts? My, my apologies. I, I figured we were talking about diversity and I thought that perhaps they added an additional class, but maybe I'm wrong. Woke Kanda. Hey! What is it? Ravenclaw! This is literally what I said I was earlier when I took this test like 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm still Ravenclaw! <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> My money is on Slytherin. <laughs> JD Spirit said, oh God, I remember the wave of psychos that came with that time. Woo, when it's time to be alive. What a time to be alive. I'm going to, I'm going to get a t-shirt. I survived 2020. <laughs> um, let's see. Aussie Wolfhound says, which would you rank dumber gothics? All the girls putting Gorilla Glue in their hair or all the people buying that pink sauce? <sighs> Um, they're both pretty bad. They're both pretty bad, man. I don't know. That's, that's, whew. I don't know, man. Um, Ravenclaw. You probably know that some Ravenclaw's most renowned members include Gilderoy Lockhart and Luna Lovegood. But did you know that Ravenclaw's Grey Lady is the least talkative Hogwarts host ghost? Or that Ravenclaw's common room boasts... The most stunning views of the castle grounds. Good, because I like looking outside. Mm. I'm in Ravenclaw. Mm. Uh huh. Okay. That portrait, though, I'm a cultural. I'm culturally appropriated pirate, trans pirate. Hmm. Imagine not being in Gryffindor. Ah! So Ravenclaw, what do they do? Like, what do they just read? <laughs> oh, wit, learning, and wisdom. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. That's offensive to anyone who died from COVID gothics. You can bet someone will say, of course. Just use the name Pink Sauce makes me feel sick. <laughs> All right, let me see. Um, I went to the uh, wand maker. I actually 
picked up Hermione's wand as a souvenir when I went there. Average height? What does that mean? What is average height? What? And your eyes? I guess. Dark brown and black? What day on... Wait, what was the day on which you were born? It was an even number. Why? Do you pride yourself most on determination, originality, optimism, imagination, resilience, kindness, intelligence, resilience? Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue? Left towards the sea, right towards the castle, ahead towards the fo forest, um, uh, the sea. Do you most fear fire, small places, darkness, isolation, heights? Hmm. I'm going to go with, um... Uh... I guess... Darkness? Yeah, let's go with darkness, for a multitude of reasons. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? A silver dagger? A golden key? An ornament mirror? A dusty bottle? Glittering jewel? Black glove? Or a bound scroll? A scroll. Hmm. Larchwood with a phoenix core. Okay. Um. I don't know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Um. Interesting. Anything else that's fun here? But what does it mean? And yeah, what does it mean? I'm not reading this shit. <laughs> I'm not reading it. Okay. Scotty says, I always thought six foot was average, but now I'm told I'm tall. <laughs> wow. Oh. I need to go. <laughs> it is time for me to sign offline, my loves. I have to attend my niece's birthday function, but no worries, I shall be on tonight at Geeks and Gamers. Let's see if they made the live stream. Yes, Geeks and Gamers. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Videos live. Nope, they did not make it. All right. Well, it was lovely hanging out with you all. I hope you have a marvelous day. Again, if you are watching me on YouTube, uh, thank you so much. Please give it a like if you would be so kind. And if you are watching me on Twitch, please do me a solid and follow my second account over on YouTube. I will at some point be posting commentary about gaming culture, so please be sure to give that a follow as well. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to your niece. Oh, thank you. I will be sure to tell her. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoy your day. Until next time, my name is Gothics. Toodaloo.